This is a groovy retro style design. And if you've never heard of them before, they have absolutely been killing it on sites like Amazon and Etsy over the last few months. Now, I personally have only really started adding these designs last year, but I have already made thousands in sales of these types of shirts and items, outpacing a lot of the other designs that I've had up for years. So if you don't know how to make this design style, it's definitely one that you're going to want to get familiar with. So you can add these types of designs to your Etsy shop, to your Amazon store, because they're not going anywhere anytime soon. And if you've never thought about starting a print on demand shop, this is the perfect opportunity because these items are so trendy that you can really hit the ground running if you add some of them to your shop. Now in this video, I'm going to teach you a quick tutorial to do three different types of this design, all of them under five minutes. So it's super simple, even if it looks really professional and complicated. So let's not waste any time and jump right into the tutorial. Now, the design suite that I am going to be using today is actually called Kittle. If you're not familiar with Kittle, they are an all-in-one design platform for print-on-demand sellers. They have so many tools, including a bunch of templates that you can pretty much just drag and drop whatever you want in them, change the text, some of the colors, and you have a totally one-of-a-kind design. But today, I'm gonna be first starting from scratch and showing you how easy it is to actually make one of these warped style text designs on their platform. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over here and click on new project. And one thing I love about Kittle too is it makes it really easy to pick the size of your canvas if you don't wanna go and look up the exact pixel size for what you're doing. So I'm gonna be making these for t-shirt designs today. So all I'm going to do is click this Amazon merch t-shirt size, which is also compatible with selling on a place like Etsy. And then I'm just gonna push create. Now, one of the first designs I'm gonna to make today is a groovy teacher shirt. Now, professions are one of the types of designs that have made me so much profit in my print-on-demand business. People are super passionate about their careers, so it's a really great place to start if you don't know what niches you should be targeting. I actually have a full cross-niche guide that I've made totally free for you guys, which has hundreds of professions, it has hundreds of hobbies, and other great niches to start with. So if you want to download that, I'll link it down below in the description. But for today, I'm just going to start with a generic teacher design and you could do the same thing with any other career or hobby or niche you are targeting. So to get started all we're going to do is go over here to the left hand side where it says text and I am just going to add one headline of text right here. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger and I'm just going to go ahead and write teacher here. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is actually pick out the font that is going to give it that groovy style. So if you don't know what types of fonts you should be using usually it's going to be kind of like a bubbly look so I'm just gonna go over here to the text settings and the one on Kittle that I really really like is called sunny drop and automatically that is just going to make it look like it's more retro it has those retro vibes so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and make this text box take up the entire canvas here and then I'm just going to go ahead and right click on it. I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to paste another one and I'm just going to do that a few times until I fill up my canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and paste another and then I'm going to go ahead and paste it a couple more times until it's really filled up the entire canvas. Now before we actually go ahead and do that distortion which is going to give it that really wavy look that we're going for, we're going to want to pick out a color palette that is going to make this look really good. Now there are a few different ways you can do this. One is you can just go on a place like Google and look up like retro color palette or something like 1970s color palette and you can just download one of those images and use it in here as kind of a reference. But one of the things that I typically like to do is I'm just going to go over to the elements tab and a lot of times I will just look up something like groovy and it's going to bring up a bunch of different assets that we could draw colors from. Now, usually those are all going to look really cohesive already. So I find that I have much better results if I pick out the colors that someone else has chosen instead of just trying to eyeball it and figure out what is going to look good together. So this one could be a good option. There are several different colors there or this rainbow has some really fun ones but I actually really kind of like this. Now we don't have to use this element actually in our design. I am just using it to reference those colors here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click this top one and 
click the text color and then just change it to that blue. Same thing going down. I'm just gonna make sure all of these have one of those different colors here so it looks really cohesive. And then once we're happy with that, we can actually just go ahead and delete that. But that is way more cohesive than if I just tried to kind of figure out on my own what colors to choose. All right, so this next part is the thing that used to really scare me about doing these designs. I wasn't super comfortable with like someplace like Photoshop or Illustrator where you could do all that distortion for your lettering but on Kittle they've made it super easy to do this. So all I'm going to have to do is click on this first row of text and go over to the transformation section and click where it says distort. So once I click that that is just going to add some little dots around the outside of this text box and the really simple steps that you need to do to achieve this look is to take this dot right here and I'm just going to go ahead and raise it up like this. Now you can get really extreme with this or you can just do a little bit of a wave. I like to do about this much and don't worry that it's overlapping here. We're going to fix that by going to the next one. So same thing, we're going to click on that text click distort. And then this time we are going to raise up this letter here till the curvature matches. And then we are going to lift the bottom similar to how we did that other one. And we're just going to repeat that process going down. We're going to lift the top here until it matches the curve. And then same thing with this bottom, the orange one too. We're going to do that whole process again and lift this up here. Now the last one is going to be a little bit different like this first one. We're going to click the lettering and distort and we're not going to lift the bottom. We are just going to match the top here so that it is all squared out. Because if we say did the bottom too like this, it would have a wave on the bottom, which you could do that, but I like to prefer where it is kind of flat on the bottom. All right, so with that, we are totally ready to actually go ahead and download this. But if you wanted to add a little something extra, you could even take like some of these flowers that are here when I looked up Groovy and you could add just a couple of them around, but you definitely don't have to do this. That is just something you could add if you wanted to and then change some of these colors here. So say I wanted this to be more of that orange color, I could do that. And then if I wanted these to be pink, I could also change them here. But once we're happy with it, all we're going to do is go over to the upper right hand corner. We're going to push download and then make sure to remove the background and download as a PNG. Now I'm actually going to head over to Printify and show you what this is going to look like on an item if we were to actually sell it on a place like Etsy. So I am over on my Printify account and I've just gone over to their t-shirt section. And a lot of times I am selling the Bella and Canvas 3001 shirts. So I'm going to show you exactly what this design would look like on here. So there are several different manufacturing partners you can choose from. I typically like to go with Swift POD. So I'm just going to push start designing. Now, if you don't know how to actually sell items on Etsy integrated with a place like Printify, I will have a tutorial linked down below that shows you exactly how to do that. But the first thing we're going to do is just click on my device here and we're going to select the artwork that we just downloaded. All right, so it uploaded that artwork and I'm just gonna go ahead and move this to the top. I like to make sure it's as high as possible and make sure nothing is going beyond these lines here. And then we can go ahead and preview what that is going to look like. That is super, super cute. We can see it on her too. And that would do really, really well on an Etsy shop. And it doesn't just have to be a generic teacher design. You can use the same concept concept with really any niche that you're targeting, which is definitely what I would suggest getting a little bit more specific. So I'm going to actually head back to Kittle and show you a couple more examples of how you can make a groovy style design in just a couple more minutes. All right, so I am back on Kittle and this design is going to arguably be even simpler because I'm just going to do three lines of groovy text. So I'm again going to push new project and then go over to these POD presets. So I clicked Amazon merch for that first one, but if I wanted to go ahead and do the Printify suggested sizes for a t-shirt, I could go down here and do their preset as well. So let's go ahead and try one with that too. Now, typically, as long as you are generally making it in a t-shirt size, it's not going to really matter transferring across different accounts. So if I made a design that was optimized for Amazon, I could also use that on my Etsy account, my Redbubble shop, and just make a few slight adjustments. You don't have to download specific artwork for each platform if you are selling on multiple places. So recently I've seen kind of a viral trend with t-shirt sales that says something like somebody's cool blank. So usually it will have like a family member 
member. So somebody's cool mom, somebody's cool dad, somebody's cool aunt. So I'm going to make an aunt style t-shirt today using this groovy retro aesthetic. So really anytime you see a trending phrase, you can put it in an aesthetic like this to make yourself really stand out. So that's personally what I did. I have tons of niches and designs that have been selling well for years. And then when this groovy aesthetic kind of came on the scene and was really selling like hotcakes, I just took some of my most trending and popular phrases and put them in this style and then those have done really well too. So this is something you can definitely think about if you see something trending. Think about if you could just put it in kind of this aesthetic to help yourself stand out. So for this design let's actually make it on a black background shirt. So I'm going to change the canvas color to that and then once again we're just going to start with adding three lines of text. I'm going to change this text color to white just so we can see it a little bit better here. So this first line I'm just going to say some buddies. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the text to that same one we used previously, which is the sunny drop. And you can definitely try this with other style text too. I just really like how this looks. And then once again, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and paste a copy and then do the same thing. So this next one here, I'm gonna write cool, and then this I could write ants. Now with the teacher one, it was all the same word, so we didn't really have to worry about the text being different sizes. But for this style shirt, you really want all of the text to take up the same width of space. So for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and make cool the same size as somebody's which is gonna make it a little bit bigger lettering. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for ant as well. Then I'm just gonna make sure all of those look really good and then resize this to take up more of the canvas here. All right, so once again, I don't really just want to click on the text here and try to find my own combination while I could do that. I'm again just gonna go over to the elements and I'm gonna look up groovy. You could also look up something like retro and I'm gonna find something that I really like the color combination and just draw from those colors again. So this rainbow is super cute here. That definitely could be one. Or this, I really like those colors here. That's a fun combination. So I think I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to make this be that pink color down here. And then I'm going to do blue and then this yellow color here. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that. Now another thing you can add just to make this stand out a little bit more is you can actually go ahead and add a border around the lettering. So so I'm gonna go ahead and add a white border to this. Now, adding borders is not complicated on Kittle either. You can simply just use this border weight right here and you're just gonna slide this over until you're happy with the size of your border. So I'm gonna change this to white and that is looking cute. I'm gonna do the exact same thing for all of these and same thing with ant down here. All right, so once I am happy with that, we are going to start distorting this again. So I'm gonna click on somebody's, click distort, and then again, I'm just going to raise this right here and then same thing with cool I'm going to click distort I'm going to raise this side and then raise the bottom here and then ant we're just going to distort it once more and then it should be good to go all right and then if I did want to add some elements to this I could pick some here so say there are some groovy elements I wanted to add like this I could just add these to the corners there's a lot of really fun elements to play with on Kittle all right so once I'm happy with it I'm again just going to go to the downloads remove the background and download as a PNG now I'm going to go back over to Printify and show you what this would look like on a hoodie or a sweatshirt shirt. All right, so back on Printify, I just looked up hoodie and I really like these Gildan hoodies right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and then go down again to Swift POD. I just really like their prices and they have a ton of color options. I'm going to push start designing. Now I'm going to go ahead again and go to my device and click that artwork that we just downloaded. All right, so for this one, I am just going to resize that until this lettering takes up a little more of the canvas. And then to center this, I'm just gonna go over here to center. And then I'm gonna go ahead and preview that and see what it would look like. That is looking super cute. I really like how this turned out and you could try a bunch of different color combinations. You could add even more stuff to this to make it even more intricate if you wanted to as well. But I have one more style that's just a little bit different than these to show you again how you can make a really easy groovy design. So let's head back over to Kittle. All right, so if you didn't know, Kittle actually has a ton of templates that you can use for your print on demand business. All you have to do is just change what it says, change some of the elements out 
out. But it's a really great starting point, especially if you are a new designer and you don't really know what is going to look super good. This is a way that I've made designs in under a minute before because they already pretty much have everything for you. You just have to know what you want it to say. So I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to search the word groovy and see what that comes up with. So there are tons of different designs here that you could just grab, change a little bit and use. So I'm just gonna look through these ones here. And after looking for a minute, I really like this. I'm not exactly gonna do this same phrase, but I think we could do something similar with the multicolored letters on the top and bottom there. So I'm gonna click use this design. All right, so shirts for parents are one of my best sellers as well. So I'm actually going to make a shirt that says groovy mama. I think that could be really, really fun. So on a lot of the templates on Kittle, they are going to have some kind of texture on them as you can see here. And that I find doesn't always print super well for a pair items so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that so we can work with it and then I know I'm not going to use these sunglasses I'm not really doing a beach theme with this I want to do more of that like groovy fun look so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that too same with these flowers here and then as you can see they've grouped all of these letters together so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and push ungroup so we can change these and I'm just going to start changing this to say groovy and then the bottom is gonna say mama so I'm I'm going to change this to a G R O O V Y. Then I'm going to get rid of the extra letters we don't need. Same with this down here. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and adjust the spacing here so these all are a little bit closer. And then I'm going to go ahead and select all of them, right click, and I am going to push a group. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this down here. I'm going to push group. And then I'm just going to make them a little bit bigger here. That is looking good. And I think I want it to take up most of the canvas here. I find a lot of times with print on demand, the bigger and bolder you can make a design, the better someone is going to be able to see it and actually click on it and purchase this bigger. And then I'm gonna get rid of the summer break thing down here. Now, I think I want these to be closer like this. And then I'm just going to put some really fun, like groovy retro elements in this middle section here. So I'm thinking flowers, maybe mushrooms. So once again, I'm going to look up groovy. And you don't have to be perfect with this. Sometimes I just start clicking on stuff and randomly throwing it up there and then I'll arrange it later. So this doesn't have to be perfect. We're just adding things as we go. So now that we have a few things in there, I'm just gonna start kind of playing around with these and arranging. So I'm gonna change the size of some things and the placement. I'm gonna put maybe these mushrooms in the middle here, kind of overlapping with some of this and just be moving some of these flowers around kind of just making it look not perfect. We want things to look a little bit disorganized as we go here. I'm gonna make this flower a little bit bigger. Then I think I'm gonna put one on the other side too, maybe just flipped around. That is looking cute. So just keep resizing stuff. You can keep adding things too. Say you wanted more flowers or something else. You can just keep looking for those in the element section, but this truly does not have to be perfect. We want it to look a little bit chaotic and disorganized. All right, so that is looking cute, but I definitely want this mama to be in the front. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that, right click and bring to front. But I like how this kind of overlaps at the top here. So if we're happy with that, we can go ahead and go to downloads, remove the background and download it as a PNG. Now you could also change all the colors to the flowers too. So say you wanted to add some more of that blue, you wanted to add that brighter orange, you could also change that as well if you wanted to. But let's again head back over to Printify and try this out on an item. All right, so mugs are another one of my really good sellers on Etsy. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and click on the ceramic mug so I can show you what this would look like with a design like this. Now, a lot of times I like to use the same designs on t-shirts, hoodies, cups. You really don't have to reinvent the design every single time you do it. You can use stuff across multiple different product types. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click the new design that I just downloaded. Now for mugs, you're going to want to duplicate this twice because when you're holding a mug, you want it to be on the front and the back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate that. And then we are going to put it on our mug right here and then this line is kind of where this is centered on so I am just going to make that a little bit smaller until that's about in the middle there and do the same thing on this side 
All right, and then when I think that looks good, I'm gonna go over to the preview and we can see what that is going to look like. All right, that is looking super, super cute. And you can see here, it's going to have both of the pictures on both sides. So I think something like this would sell really, really well. And like I said before, you can even use my cross niching guide. It has about 40,000 different niche combinations that you can do to find a lot of niches that you can just put in this retro groovy style to sell really, really well in 2024. Now, if you've never tried Kittle before, I definitely can't recommend them enough. They're pretty much my go-to design platform for all of my print on demand products. And I have a really good discount code for you guys that gets you 50% off the pro account. I will link that down below too. And if you're looking for some of the most profitable product types to sell on a place like Etsy or Amazon, definitely check out this video next. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.